we're going to get started with some news you can use. I'm going to, then I'm going to talk about, um, and we still haven't come up with a name with it, but some of the downsides in the business. Um, the, the news that I want to talk about is that uh, various parts of the government, including the Federal Reserve, have a tendency to float bubbles out there in the public, uh, like trial balloons, to see what kind of response they're going to get, how the market reacts, and that type of thing. So you can kind of, if you can read the tea leaves, you can see what they're planning to do based on the response they get, they're planning to do down the road, whether it's three months, six months, 12 months, that type of thing. They floated a, a balloon through Yahoo Finance a couple of days ago uh, about, you know, they're worried about inflation. Inflation, of course, is high. Currently, and just so everybody's on the same sheet here, the Fed discount rate, the Fed rate, the bottom line rate is one quarter of 1%. Now, they've already talked about raising it to maybe as high as 1% later this year, but uh, they, they had one of their talking heads go on and describe that it would actually need to be raised all the way up to 7% to basically quash inflation. Um, remember, of the, the things that are worse, debt versus inflation, inflation is worse in everybody's mind, at least in the Fed's mind, and they'll do just about anything, including killing the economy, to dampen inflation. So um, anyway, the the response was not good, as you might imagine. Um, and they've gone back and retracted and said, well, they really meant maybe one to 2%. You know, they've already talked about 1%. That's kind of baked into the market. Now, you know, maybe we have to go up to 2%. That's not going to kill inflation. It's going to, it would have to be a big dramatic jump uh, up in interest rates to stave off what happened to Jimmy Carter in 1979, 80, I think it was, where uh, you know, we got high inflation and interest rates as a result had to be brought all the way up to 25 or 6 percent, something like that. It's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, the, the bottom line effects for our business is every time they do this, it gives the lenders a chance to artificially raise the prices uh, that people have to pay for interest. It's We talked about this last week. It's gone from around 2.65 a year ago to about 3.45% interest rate now for an FHA government backed loan. Um, and these things will, will rise in proportion as the Fed raises, even if they go from 0.25 to 0.5, which will be their next bump, uh, you know, inflation, I mean, the interest rates for housing may go up a half a point instead of a quarter point. So it's, it's gonna be interesting ride all of this has the effect of choking off, um, you know, housing, at least prices rising on houses. It doesn't necessarily kill demand, but it reduces the numbers of buyers in the market because, you know, only a certain number can afford as they, as they raise interest rate that raises payments and less people can afford to actually make a payment, i.e. buy a house. So we'll keep you guys appraised uh, of what's going on here. And it's something to keep your eyes on when they when the news comes on, see what they talk about. And uh, these trial balloons, like I said, tend to make the market, the, the stock market shift and swing wildly. So that'll be the first thing we see.